Well, hello there my family and friends. Back in the shed of creation, of eternal possibility. I've been asked recently to do some more poems, so I'm going to read you some poems now which are Christmas based. There's a serious one, a funny one, and also a horror one. Uh, the first one is from my new book, Betrayed, which is about the state of the country, the state of the world really, and the poor and the homeless, etc. And the first poem is called Christmas is Coming. So here we go folks. Christmas is coming, the rich are getting fat, people in shop doorways with pennies in a hat. Materialistic stores are fuelled by their greed, selling to the masses the things that they don't need. Supermarkets selling tons of food each day to hungry greedy people who throw most of it away. For those sleeping in the doorways there is no Christmas cheer, just the thought of hunger and another long hard year. People spending millions on millions of Christmas trees while the person in the doorway hopes that they won't freeze. So many unwanted gifts and lots of children crying, while all over the country the homeless ones are dying. Big family parties where all is warm and bright, while the dwellers of the doorways walk the cold dark night. There are so many happy smiling faces, people feeling high, while the denizen of the doorway sits alone and cries. In the stores are big red-faced Santas and the Elf, while millions of pounds of products are flying off the shelf. While the forgotten tribe who have a doorway for their bed don't even have a penny in the hope that they are fed. The police officer comes and asks them to move along. They are just surviving. They have done nothing wrong. But it is their lifestyle choice, the uneducated say. Do they honestly believe that people want to live that way? We have so many empty buildings along with empty hearts. Why can't they be used? That would be a start. Supermarkets throwing perfectly good food away. Why can't it be handed to the homeless at the end of every day? How can we stand by and watch the homeless plight? How on earth do they survive on that cold and icy night? So give of yourself and give of your money. Go out onto the street tonight. Don't be consumed by greed. Come and join us in the fight. And the next one is for anyone who's going through a hard time with relationships, etc, etc, which I know so many people are. And this is the true, true poem about a situation I was in ten years ago when my wife left me. And this is called One Less Present to Buy This Christmas. I have one less present to buy this Christmas. Yes, one less present to wrap this year. I am happily alone. Now my wife has left me. It's one less gift to think about this year. Whatever I bought her was never enough. She always wanted to know if I had the receipt. I did try really hard to please her. When she left me, it was such a treat. She was never grateful for any gift given, always wanting to have so much more. Then one day she got up and left me. It was heaven when she walked through that door. I have one less present to buy this Christmas. To be honest, I could not take any more. I thought all my Christmas had come at once. That wonderful day she walked through the door. Gladly she is now someone else's problem and I really feel so sorry for him because I know on Christmas morning he will never have had it so grim. I have one less present to buy this Christmas. I did my time and learned the hard way. My ex-wife's greedy and grasping even though it was Christmas Day. Peace and goodwill to all men. That was never how it was for me. But I would like to thank her this Christmas 
for the best gift of setting me free. And there we go. That was the funny one in my opinion. Right, this one is a horror one. And this is called Santa is only an anagram. It was one very evil Christmas when Satan came to me with gifts that would possess me hiding behind my Christmas tree. The candy canes were dripping blood, the baubles burst into flame. The pine needles became much sharper, creating much more pain. Satan stood there clothed in red with his pitchfork and forked tail. He said, I hope you've been really naughty. I hope you did not fail. Outside were his team of demons who pulled his flaming sled. You can be sure that if you see them, very soon you will be dead. He gave me gifts of pestilence, of famine, war and disease. He stood there shouting at me, on your mortal knees. He poured out his hatred upon me. He bade me take it into the earth. He wanted to destroy all the knowledge surrounding the virgin birth. He mocked the church and the Christian, saying the religious were out of control. His desire was to rule in the earth again, to have and to own every soul. So far his poison is spreading. All countries are at war with each other. The greed of world governments growing, while brother will fight with brother. So on that dark and evil Christmas, when Satan came to me, with all evil wrapped up in his presence underneath my Christmas tree, he bestowed his power of darkness. It was mine then to impart, as I travelled the world with destruction, with the evil that flowed from my heart. You see, it matters not which religion you follow, because your soul now belongs to me. And I have hung them inside the baubles on hell's special Christmas tree. So there you go folks. Some more poems from within my mind. If anyone's interested in a book, they are available on Amazon. Graham Jenkinson Poetry. They vary in price. I think there's nine books out now. Or the five pounds from me. If anybody wants one, drop me a message. I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard. If you have, please hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment in the box below. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And above all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. It will cost you absolutely nothing. It will help the channel grow and we become part of that bigger community. And on that point, my family and friends, I will say to you all, Namaste. And may your God go with you. Bye for now, everyone.